as early as 1997, uh, our government began to get a sense that uh, it would need a closer relationship with, you know, with, with, uh, with communities. Uh, not yet giving communities the, the um, responsibility for itself, but, uh, but asking more of it. And it requests then that universities play a special role with respect to this. And I read to you a, a short uh, excerpt from the, uh, from the white paper of uh, 1997. It says the following. Um, it makes spe a specific reference to the role that community engagement can play in transforming the higher education system. And it speaks to the national goals and gives to community engagement a central role in the life of, a uni of the universities. So it says to the universities, uh, we want you to assist us with uh, having uh, communities take more responsibility for, for what they are doing. Um, the universities found themselves in a, in a bit of a, a difficulty with this third element of their mandate. The first element, of course, was the element of, the, uh, of teaching and learning. The second element is the element of um, research. And the third element then, um, and, and in the white paper, expressed as an important element, is now the element of uh, community engagement. So how do universities think about this? Where does it place community engagement in the hierarchy of its mandates. And uh, my own perspective on this is very clear. Its greatest um, contribution to the community development uh, is for us to, at the University of the Western Cape, produce excellent students. People who come here, who are able to, uh, through their energy and their, and their, and their, their sense of purpose uh, and, and their goals, uh, uh, put all of their energy behind the, uh, the development of the, themselves and uh, their, their cohorts of, 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 uh, of uh, brother and sister students so that we can provide for South Africa the brain power that it needs in order to make its way. And I consider that to be the most important function of this university. It's one that we or do we to take very, very seriously uh, at the University of the Western Cape. The second function, most important function, is the research function. Because we are now in, an, a, in, a, in a time when there is such change everywhere that it is almost impossible to imagine that you already have the answers to that change um, and, uh, and that the past has, uh, gives you, the, your past knowledge gives you the, uh, the uh, answers to, the, uh, to the, the challenges that are facing you. So we, we, we must then accept that without new knowledge, we South Africans will not make a good go of it. And so our responsibility is as quickly as possible, and given the fact that we now have access to things digital, uh, we should be trolling this world to try to bring into South Africa as much of the new knowledge necessary uh, for it to, to, uh, to, to support itself in this, in this very, very complex environment. And the third one, the one that, that does worry universities a little bit, and some have even said it ought not to be a mandate for universities, is the, uh, the mandate of, of uh, community engagement. My own view on this is that it takes two forms. Uh, one is that it's, um, it's, it acts as a, an organ that services the community. We now have the uh, situation where we have uh, large numbers of UWC students going to Theobatus Kluf and engaging there with the, uh, with the uh, uh, community, especially the, uh, the elderly. But, but this takes the form of service. And uh, you retire from this and others go in and they give the service. It is welcome and it, uh, it's, it's hugely beneficial. But it doesn't speak to the culture of the, of, the, of the community. It doesn't speak to where the community sits relative to itself and its determination to engage with itself and the world in order to be able to uh, assist South Africa uh, to develop. This comprehensive service that we give to the communities of, of the Western Cape is lauded in every possible way. And we have a, a wonderful um, um, publication here that gives you a sense of the, 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 the number of such, such engagements and the, the range of such engagement and the depth of such engagements. And so we can be very, very proud at the University of the Western Cape for what our students and staff are doing in community. Um, I uh, think that it contributes greatly to the development of a sense of community. 
But a part that we are, should be now getting into, I believe, is also the engagement with community about itself and its own development. And this is, uh, uh, I think, a, a, a challenge for us as a university and one that uh, I believe uh, is going to occupy our minds and our, our, um, our competences to, to, to a great extent in the, in the next 10, 15 years. But without our developing in our communities a sense of, of fierce independence while being part of the whole, um, I believe that uh, we are going to be stuck with these service delivery marches consistently for, for um, perhaps 10, 20, 30 years. The reason for my saying that is that, and the only way to raise the living standards of, the, of South Africans is through what South Africans themselves do. And 80% of our South Africans, uh, uh, one can say, do, do not have the wherewithal, they don't have the money to be able to utilize that money in order to, to uh, renovate, if you like, or reconstruct the, uh, the community. And so if they leave that only up to government, it can't work because government doesn't have the resources to accomplish this. And so when, it's the, it's when the community turns to, to itself and says, what will we do to make things better here? And how will we organize ourselves to make things better here? And how will we engage with government for the support for us as we endeavor to make things better here? How do we understand that in order for our development to be rapid, uh, we have to increase the size of our economy quite dramatically. And how does one do that? Uh, um, there are examples all over the world about how this is possible, but at the heart of all of this is education. Um, education both in the school system, education in the universities, education in the other forms of, uh, of um, um, learning, like the technicons and the, and the technical colleges. But what we need is a, a, a country of people who understand this, who understand the connection between education, uh, ownership, hard work, and the good future. And so begin the discourse in community, uh, uh, hopefully with the help of universities, where people have been studying these matters for a long, long time, to engage with universities, not to leave a service, but to engage as a, as a partner in building a new consciousness in that community about itself and the ways in which it supports South Africa's development. I was fortunate enough for eight years of my life to be the chairperson of the, uh, of the Strand Community Forum. And it was really an exercise in democracy. It was a forum of not individuals, but of um, uh, organizations in the community. And uh, so that the, the, each organization was asked to send its delegates, properly mandated by that organization, to participate in, uh, in the discourse about the, the Strand at that time, its past and, uh, and the, 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 the wounds we carried from the past, and uh, it is present, and uh, the battle we were then fighting for our, for our freedom, and then the future. How do we project this into the future? It was a wonderful, wonderful engagement with these 37 organizations coming together once a month to speak about this, to make decisions about it, to ask the questions about what can we do about this ourselves, and how do we then mobilize ourselves to be able to do this? And so this is what I hope Will be, it will characterize the relationship between the University of the Western Cape and our, our, our communities, with large numbers of our students going into those communities to model for those communities what is possible when a, an institution like the University of the Western Cape sends its best and brightest and most committed students to them to work with them, to, to, to provide a service for them, hopefully also to engage in the, in the developmental aspect of it. But for the university also, with its, and its academic uh, life, um, becoming a source of, of wisdom and, and experience uh, uh, to the, uh, uh, the community leaders, so that they may begin to construct the kinds of communities that understand the danger South Africa is, South Africa is in at the moment with respect to its future, and how important it is for communities to take full responsibility of that future and what the mechanisms are by which you can bring together leaders in community and have those leaders begin to develop a discourse in the, uh, uh, in the community about the most important challenges facing South Africa. We must hope also that the national plan, the strategic plan, then becomes something that we use as a framework for what South Africa is hoping to become. So um, 
we are proud of our department uh, that is responsible for uh, community uh, engagement and the Priscilla Daniels. They've done an Im amazing job. We've also gone beyond the publication. We have now created a database uh, which will capture for us all the activity on our campus as it relates to, uh, uh, to community engagement and hopefully now more and more to community development. And uh, that, uh, that uh, database allows us to get a, a, an, a helicopter view of this university and its relationship to its uh, communities, uh, to, to be surprised by what others are doing in your, in, in your field and how if you uh, were to work, to work together in a multidisciplinary way, you could perhaps do far, far greater uh, work in a, in a much, much shorter time than is currently uh, possible. Um, we are in a university with a, a great sense of, uh, of um, responsibility. We took responsibility bravely um, when we challenged the apartheid government so that we might be free. Now we've got, to, we've got to take on this new challenge. How in the shortest possible time do we create a vibrant economy, we create a, a top, top, top class education system, uh, we create a, a, a citizenry that is uh, loving and, and, and caring, um, and we create... Uh, um, communities that have uh, found themselves, that have, um, are operating uh, with high levels of independence, um, own initiative, uh, within the framework set for us, uh, challenging the frameworks too where, where it is necessary for us to be able to, out of those communities, produce the young people who have to go to schools with the right understanding or the perspective on why this is important and for them to work through us and uh, diligently throughout their school life so that when they come here they're fully prepared uh, for life at, uh, in higher education and they fully pre understand why this is important and they commit themselves to uh, their work and their, uh, at the universities. Uh, they pass, they, um, they go out and they become citizens that assist this nation uh, to uh, find itself.